Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 3, Week 4 Milk Base Let's learn about Relating triangles to quadrilaterals and one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. In this lesson, you are expected to Relate triangles to quadrilaterals And relate one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral For example, square to rhombus Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about how to relate triangles to quadrilaterals and one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral in our previous lesson, we have learned about describing and identifying triangles according to sides and angles as well as the different kinds of quadrilaterals. Today, we are going to study the relationship of triangles to quadrilaterals and discover how one quadrilateral relates to another quadrilateral. This illustration will show you how to relate triangles to quadrilaterals. Relating triangles to quadrilaterals A triangle is a half of a quadrilateral. This shape is a quadrilateral. It is a rectangle. The sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is always 360 degrees, whereas the sum of the angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. In this illustration, you will see that a quadrilateral is divided into two triangles, meaning the quadrilateral is equal to two triangles. The sum of the measures of the angles of each triangle has a total of 180 degrees. 90 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 30 degrees equals to 180 degrees. So 180 degrees is the total measures of the angles of each triangle. So each triangle has a total of 180 degrees. And since a quadrilateral contains two triangles with a total of 180 degrees and another 180 degrees, 180 degrees times 2 is equals to 360 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the measure of its angles equals 360 degrees. A quadrilateral has a total of 360 degrees. This illustration shows how we can relate a triangle to a quadrilateral. Another illustration shows the relationship of triangles and quadrilaterals where their formulas clearly relate. Let's study the area of a quadrilateral. The formula in getting the area of a quadrilateral is A. This is A means area. The area has B or base. This is the base. Multiply to H or height. This is the height of a quadrilateral. So the area of a quadrilateral is area equals base times height. Let's study area of a triangle. While triangle is A equals to base, so this is the base of a triangle multiplied to height, height of a triangle. This is the half of a quadrilateral, which shows that in every quadrilateral, there are two triangles. So the area of a triangle is Area equals to base times height divided by 2. There are many different types of quadrilateral and they all share the similarity of having 4 sides, 2 diagonals, and the sum of their interior angles is 360 degrees. They all have relationship to one another, but they are not all exactly alike and have different properties. See the illustration above. 
As you can see above, a quadrilateral consists of parallelograms and trapezoid. It is clearly shown that a trapezoid is not a parallelogram. Under parallelogram are rectangle and rhombus. And under rectangle and rhombus is a square. Only the rectangle, rhombus, and square are parallelograms, but they are all quadrilaterals. Now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1 Let us read and study the problem and answer in your notebook the questions that follow. Mr. Tabilang bought a cartolina for his math class. He needs two triangles of the same size without wasting any part of the cartolina. How will he divide it? Look at the illustration. This is a cartolina. How will he divide it? He will divide it like this. He will divide it into two triangles. So the first question is, what shapes are formed? Very good! The shapes that are formed are triangles. Second question, how many triangles are formed? Very good! Two triangles are formed. And third question, can two triangles fit in one cartolina? Which shape is a rectangle? Very good! The answer is yes! Now, let's move to learning task 2. Using the drawing below, tell whether the figure labeled by each letter is a triangle or a quadrilateral. What is letter A? Is it a triangle or a quadrilateral? Very good! Letter A is a triangle. Letter B is it a triangle or a quadrilateral? Very good! Letter B is a quadrilateral. How about letter C? Is it a triangle or a quadrilateral? Very good! Letter C is a quadrilateral. How about letter D? Is it a triangle or a quadrilateral? Very good! Letter D is also a quadrilateral. Letter E, is it a triangle or a quadrilateral? Very good! It is a triangle. Letter F, is it a triangle or a quadrilateral? Very good! It is also a triangle. How about letter G? Is it a triangle or a quadrilateral? Very good! It is a quadrilateral. What about letter H? Is it a triangle or a quadrilateral? Very good! It is a quadrilateral. And now, let's go to learning task 3. Answer the following with a yes or no. Write it on the blanks provided. Number 1. Do all triangles have 3 equal sides and 3 angles? Yes or no? Very good! The answer is yes! Number 2. Do all quadrilaterals have 4 sides and 4 angles? Yes or no? Very good! The answer is yes! Number 3. Can a quadrilateral be divided into 2 triangles? Yes or no? Very good! The answer is yes! Number 4. Is any three-sided polygon a triangle? Yes or no? Very good! The answer is yes! And number 5. Is any four-sided polygon a quadrilateral? Yes or no? Very good! The answer is yes! Let's move to learning task 4. Draw a rectangular garden. At the center, draw a triangular pool. Design your garden with a four-sided object that will make it beautiful. So kids, do this in your notebook. For learning task 5, 
Fill in the boxes for the correct information needed. We have already discussed about quadrilaterals. So what are the two kinds of quadrilaterals? Very good! The kinds of quadrilaterals are parallelogram and a trapezoid. And what are under parallelogram? Very good! Under parallelogram are rectangle and rhombus. Remember that we can relate triangle to quadrilateral through the illustration that each triangle has a total of 180 degrees and a quadrilateral has 360 degrees. Therefore, there are two triangles in a quadrilateral to have both equal to 360 degrees. The relationship of triangles and quadrilaterals is in their area. The formula in getting the area of a quadrilateral is area equals base times height, while in a triangle, it is area equals base times height divided into 2. This shows that in every quadrilateral, there are two triangles. There are many different types of quadrilaterals, and they all share the similarity of having four sides, two diagonals, and the sum of their interior angles is 360 degrees. They all have relationship to one another, but they are not all exactly alike and have different properties. And now for our last activity, learning task 6, write true if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Number 1. A rectangle is a parallelogram. True or false? Very good! The answer is true. Number 2. A parallelogram is consisted of three triangles. True or false? Very good! The answer is false. Number 3. Both triangles and any quadrilateral are equal to 360 degrees. Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is false. Number 4. A quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is true. Number 5. Trapezoids can never be a parallelogram. Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is true. Number 6. Square is either a rectangle or a rhombus. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is true. Number 7. A rhombus is a square. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is false. Number 8. A quadrilateral needs two triangles to be equal to 30 degrees. Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is false! Number 9. A trapezoid is a parallelogram. Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is false! And number 10. There are ways that a triangle is related to a quadrilateral. Is it true or false? Very good! The answer is true. Remember, remember that we can relate triangle to quadrilateral through the illustration that each triangle has a total of 180 degrees and a quadrilateral has 360 degrees. Therefore, there are two triangles in a quadrilateral to have both equal to 360 degrees. Kids, do you understand all our lessons today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!